His name is Ovidio Guzman Lopez, and he is actually one of the world's most wanted men. Yes, on the planet. He's the most wanted man. So, he's actually the son of El Chapo, who's in prison right now, but during his reign, he was the probably most notorious drug lord on the planet and uh, he was worth a whopping 14 billion dollars so his family has a lot of money this is actually a lot more money than donald trump has so that's that's a crazy amount the military had him and they actually had to let him go because things were just getting that bad it was crazy and uh you know the the president of mexico uh, just wanted to ease the pressure off of the, you know, public. But I mean, look at the military, bro. This is a serious, serious amount of manpower right here. You know, armored cars, everyone with guns, but this was not enough. This was not enough. The, <laughs> the Mexican cartel is nothing to mess with, bro. You, you do not want to piss these guys off. Look at this big ass gun huge calibers it's crazy man and uh just down here a freaking grenade launcher or some sort of explosive launcher bro those look like ars so these are dudes in the back more guns and this is just one car they had dozens and dozens of cars filled with dudes with a bunch of guns and more explosives it's crazy the military even had helicopter support and uh that was not enough everyone on the ground all the mexican cartel people were shooting up at this helicopter and guess what happened well it's going down and it freaking blows up bro the freaking helicopter blows up so it's crazy there were many many uh casualties from what i'm hearing uh, the, car the cartel were not really aiming at the uh, public or just, you know, innocent people. They were aiming towards the military, man. But there were unfortunate casualties along the way. I think everyone in this clip was perfectly fine. They just got scared with a big ass explosion like that. And look right here, more armored vehicles. There were dozens and dozens of these armored vehicles with dudes with explosives and guns it's crazy man it's just insane so i really wish the best for all the innocent people out there in that part of mexico i know things are hectic it's crazy it looks like a war zone this looks like something straight out of a movie and uh, from what i'm understanding this is a nighttime clip and this is actually a, a cartel helicopter in the sky shooting down at the uh law enforcement and military so it's crazy it is insane now the the cartel is actually showing the uh, military you know not to mess with them so ovidio is free he is out um for now we'll see hope <laughs> don't know what to think about it and uh these guys right here they're celebrating the cartel is they're celebrating they've got their boy out how do you get the most wanted man out you overpower them you get more guys with more guns more explosives more power and uh yeah these guys are celebrating but the military i don't think they're backing down it looks like they brought backup a lot of backup so yeah it's crazy i told you guys i'd be covering more stuff on my youtube channel so if you're new to the channel subscribe hit that like button it really helps i'm out of here watch a few more clips so, peace. Forces traded gunfire with heavily armed members of the Sinaloa drug cartel yesterday before taking Ovidio Guzman Lopez into custody. That is the son of the notorious drug kingpin Joaquin Guzman, better known as El Chapo. But under heavy fire, Mexican forces let the younger Guzman go. They say they had to to protect lives. Errol Barnett is here. Errol, this unfolded rapidly and violently, and they let him go. What's up with that? That's right. Look, all of this demonstrates just how powerful the Sinaloa drug cartel still is, despite its kingpin being behind bars.